Hello again. So continuing on what we were doing with Landsat data. In the first two videos, you saw how to pre-process Landsat raw data sets, converting from digital number to top of the atmosphere reflectances, which is called radiometric calibration. You also clipped the data into steady area uh, to save you computational time. Um, in the second video, you saw how to compute NDVI and how to calculate area statistics. Now, in this in this video, we will see how to do aggregation of multiple NDVI maps. For example, we have three Landsat dates, right? Three Landsat data, and we have three NDVI maps. So, how do we aggregate them using statistical methods? So for example, here in this QGIS session, you can see I have three groups, three false color composite composites for three dates. I have also computed three NDVI maps and also three temperature maps. And we already discussed uh, in the class that we will use the band 10, the corrected and clipped band 10 as temperature map. So what you see here is this temperature map. Okay. And the temperature is represented in degrees Celsius. Here you can see that it varies from 16 to 40 degrees. Before we go further, uh, please save your project. Save as. You can give any name. Save it. In my case, it's asking to replace because it was already there. So it's always safe to save your project and uh, continue doing analysis in case if the QGS get hanged then you can always uh, open the project and continue from that point so i have three temperature maps and i have three ndvi maps so what i want to do is i want to compute the average temperature and the average ndvi i will show you how to compute average ndvi and you can uh, continue with computing average temperature yourself to do that, in the processing toolbox, uh, there is a module called r.series. Again, it's coming from GRASS. So I will open r.series. r.series, it explains, makes each output cell value a function of the values assigned to corresponding cells in the input raster layers. So let me just select three NDVI maps as input layers. And now it's asking for an aggregate operation. So you, you can there is a lot of options available you want to compute minimum ndvi you want to compute maximum ndvi you want standard deviation the sum of all the ndvis in case of precipitation sum is really helpful etc etc um, so i want to compute average so i will select average say okay and that's it so you can go down rest you can leave uh, in the aggregator you can give a file name and here in the folder i will give ndvi underscore average underscore 2019 so that means this is the average ndvi from these three images i will run it it should not take much time close it and you can already see this is here it's it came in the group you can pull it out and put it on top i'm going to copy the style of the ndvi here and paste it to newly created ndvi average ndvi layer yeah so i can see the ndvi the average so this is the average ndvi so similarly you can do uh, it for temperature as well and see uh, what is the result. Now, I have also provided you elevation data. So for elevation, for uh, average NDVI, for average temperature, you want to, you just want to know what is the minimum and maximum or mean NDVI over this entire steady area. So for that, you can just type raster, there, are, there should be multiple options, raster stats. And you can select raster analysis, raster layer statistics here. 
you can select yeah, I selected NDVI average 2019 and just run it then it should show you the statistics the maximum mean minimum range standard deviation as it was now the same thing you can do it with elevation as well so maybe for your exercise you can also report what is the minimum and maximum elevation of the region now if you want to know the data distribution um, you can also go to properties and have a look at the histogram and say compute histogram and it says and it, sh it will show you how uh, the frequency of different bins of data so you can see most of the pixels are falling in point two region so that is about r dot series now let's open the land cover map again which i have provided to you so i'll go to the mis data land cover 2019.tiff okay so i have the mean ndvi and i have the land cover map let me open elevation as well so this is my elevation i don't like grayscale so let me put a nice color there um yeah so this is your elevation data so you have elevation you have average mean and you have a land cover map and you will also have uh, average temperature now you want to know for each land cover type the statistics of mean ndvi and elevation so how to do that in QGIS? So again, in QGIS, in the processing toolbox, I will go to something called r.univar, which compute the univariate statistics. And I will open the module. I will select the raster map, which I want to compute statistics for, which in my case, it is average NDVI, and there is an option called raster map used for zoning so there you can give the land cover map so for each land cover type it will compute the statistics for uh, for NDVI. i will also compute the percentiles because there could be some outliers uh, so i will compute the fifth and 99th percentile the field separator i will keep it as comma because I need a comma separated file so that I can open it in Excel. I select the extended statistics because the percentile belongs to extended statistics. Then you can save to a text file. You can so univar NVI mean and run it it's finished it's already there the text file now this text file can be opened in excel so i will open a blank excel file and i will go to the folder where the text file is created this one univar NDVI mean I will just uh, drag it here in Excel. Most probably it will come like this in one column because it's comma separated. So I will select it. I will select that column, go to data, text to columns, delimited. Next, I will say comma because it's comma separated. Next, finish. So you have a beautiful table. The zone is the land cover IDs and for each land cover what is the minimum maximum and all the statistics and two extra statistics which is a fifth percentile and 99th percentile in each land cover classification as i already said i have already provided you a text file with the class names so you can easily copy and paste it in the label if you want more clear ideas yeah it's much more easy to read when you have class names also so this is the statistics for ndvi per land use 
Please continue to do the same for elevation and uh, average temperature. Compare the uh, statistical outputs and come up with some thresholds which will help you to extract irrigated area. That's it for this video. Thank you.